everybody, Donna Salazar here for Gel Press. This week we are taking it off. I'm going to show you how to get great prints by pulling paint off of your plate before you pull your print. So I wanted this to have kind of a fancy golden gilded kind of a look. So I'm putting the gold paint on first and this is um, paint from Prima called Art Alchemy and it's a metallic, obviously. The um, stencil that I put on, I don't, I don't think it even has a brand, I just bought it from Amazon. But I'm using the stencil and a brayer to take the paint off. So with the dry brayer, with paint that is drying, it'll just pull the paint right off when you are trying to brayer through the stencil. And so that's what I'm doing here. And it took quite a bit because um, once the paint starts to really dry, it gets a little bit harder for it to come off. There was a little bit of paint on the stencil and so that stayed on the plate, but that never is upsetting to me. I love when that happens. I'm using some golden open paint and this is the Thalo Blue. One of my most favorite colors. And this is a stamp from Carabelle and it has cool kind of celestial designs on it and I love that the design is different all over the circle so I can do whatever I want and of course I've got my little side plate going and then this is the um, homemade stamp that I made by using low temperature hot glue on my embossing plate and it pulled up the image and I just stuck it down to cardboard. And I was going to use this Pebeo paint, but then changed my mind because it was so thick. And so I just pulled it off on the side. Now I am using some DecoArt Media Fluid Acrylics, and it's the interference color. This is the gold interference, so it's very, very liquid and very transparent. And I rub my plate a lot. This is so that I make sure that there's very good connection with the paint on the plate, and it's going to pull the whole thing up. And the magic moment. I was so happy with the way that this print came out. And when you see it in the light, it's just a whole different image. When the light is shining on it, it picks up all of the gold and the metallic. It is so pretty in person. And now here's the second print and I'm gonna do things a little bit differently on this one. I'm starting with some golden open paint and I'm gonna, um, Add in some Windsor and & Newton, and the Windsor & Newton's a little bit more opaque and thicker than the Golden Open. And then I'm adding some more Golden Open on the bottom, and normally I wouldn't add it straight to the plate, but there's no paint on the plate at the bottom, so I'm not going to end up with a white spot where I put that little dab of paint. And to take the paint off this time, since the holes are so small, I'm going to use a baby wipe. I like to use the all natural ones that have like the cucumber melon scent and there's aloe in them. So it's not going to hurt the plate and it makes my hands feel soft and it smells good. So I go through a ton of these actually, and they are incredibly useful. Who'd have thought baby wipes. And you see, it's taking quite a bit for me to get the paint up. I wanted to make sure that the design really showed through the paint. And now I'm going to do the same thing on my little side plate. Got to keep the side gig going. 
I keep the five by seven plate on the side, usually to add paint to the brayer to put onto the plate. And then whatever is happening over there, I put it into my little art journals. But I am going to now add some interference paint. And this is from Deco Art Media. It's the gold interference again. I really like to use this to pull up prints. It was a little too much though when I lost some of the design at the top. So I, sh I had a little too much paint on my brayer, but it still ends up coming out pretty. Again, I rub my plate a lot because I want to make sure that I get a really good connection and get as much of the design up as possible. And there was a little bit of gold left. So I got a little bit of a metallic grunge in there. And again, this one looks so pretty in the sun or when the light hits it. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.